Verse 24. Romans 1, 24. Watch this slippery slope. I'm going to show you something. See where we started. Look at where we're going. Romans 1, 24. So God abandoned them to do whatever shameful things their hearts desired. As a result, they did vile and degrading things with each other's bodies. They traded the truth about God for a lie. So they worshipped and served the things God created instead of the creator himself, who is worthy of eternal praise. Amen. That is why God abandoned them to their shameful desires. Now I'm going to get into an area. That's a sticky topic. But watch how it gets to this. Even the woman turned against the natural way to have sex and indulged with sex with each other. And the men, instead of having normal sexual relations with women, burned with lust for each other. Men did shameful things with other men. And as a result of this sin, they suffered within themselves the penalty they deserved. Because we're always confused. How did it get to this place where that's just everywhere? It's just normal. It was a slippery slope. It started off with, God is so obvious. No, we need more evidence. What, what? what more evidence do you need? You, you're lying. You rejected the truth. So it just got a little, more, a little worse. All right, I don't really worship God, so I need somebody to worship. So I'm going to worship Joe Schmo. Myself, I'm going to worship Richard Dawkins. I'm going to worship, you know, Stephen Hawking. While he's talking to his machine, I'm going to worship him. I'm going to worship whoever. This is what happens. It starts up over there. And it goes all the way to a society dominated by a particular lifestyle that we cannot explain how it got there. And the Apostle Paul explains the process. How a society can come from here is God, so obvious, to men wanting men and women wanting women. It's not random. There's a slippery slope and there's a process that was put in the Bible so many years ago that would explain what would happen to the society. Think of Sodom and Gomorrah. It's not random that at their worst, a particular lifestyle dominated. It could have been anything else. It could have been murder. It could have been greed. But there's something about the human nature. When at our worst, men burn for men. Women burn for women. At our worst. Not that we just go around killing each other. But at our worst, something about us just turns into that. And that is the progression. It is not random. Why is it that the societies end up there somehow? For no good reason. You're like, but what about, why this? What's so special about this? There's so many other sins. We could, we could stab each other. Why don't we stab each other? I'm just saying, we shoot each other. Like, there's so many other stuff you can do. Blow yourself up. Do something else. Why are we going to go there? Something about human nature that gets to that. When it started off with, God is obvious. But no, we need more proof. You don't need more proof. You're lying. You rejected the truth. And, well, no, no, well, I need to worship somebody. So you worship somebody else. And then God said, aha, I'm out. Once he steps out, something about human nature that we just go there. Somehow. Something about us. I don't know, but after progression. When people reject God, he steps back. When people take their eyes off God, darkness steps in, and the moral fabric of society is torn to pieces. Without consciously thinking about it, the corrupt nature of humanity becomes painfully evident. In other words, People start doing unconscionable things that eventually become acceptable society. Men become gods unto themselves and make their own rules. Because absolute truth is cast aside. As I said earlier, we were created to worship. So if we turn away from God, we'll find someone or something else to worship. Revelations 4.11 says that all things were created for God's pleasure. Thus, when we as created beings set our hearts on this, on this created scientific process and not on God, the following tragedy occurs. Moral entropy takes place when God steps back. When the Apostle Paul 
what he started as a discussion of people's failure to recognize God in creation turned out to be the explanation for one of the most difficult challenges in society. I never saw this connection. And I assume that you never did either until it was revealed by scripture. If God didn't make the rules by which natural processes operate, he surely can't make the rules by which we live. If he didn't create all that is in existence, including us, his input in our lives is obsolete. If what we believe is all by chance, then why should we cling to anything absolute? Whether we like it or not, the moral failure of society is a direct result of a mindset that challenges God's role in nature. I won't put my own spin on what scripture says in order to avoid being a distraction. I'll let Romans 1, 26, 28 speak for itself. And if there is any conflict, let it be with God and not with me. Yes, it seems as though God has abandoned this world sometimes. Even though it's hard to accept, slowly but surely, the world around us is spiraling out of control as each generation becomes a little more liberal. The worst part of it all is that this corruption has entered the church. And that has emboldened secular society to push its agenda. There's nothing we can do to change the hearts of those who choose to reject God. Since we cannot change them, we have to ensure that we don't allow them to change us. Slide number seven. Next. 